And here we have it, the next job. This old surfboard. It's a Benjamin board. It was uh, built in Corpus Christi, Texas. And it's actually uh, not too, too bad. There's a swallow tail, had some fiberglass repair back here. Actually got it really shaped nice. And it's got the pressure dings on the top where the feet were. I'm gonna get all this straightened up. It's not gonna be brown. That's for sure. And uh, it's a single fin. Well, you can see the age. You know, the old white foam is now yellow. But uh, we're going to start getting this cleaned up. I'm not going to really just alter it too much, just in case somebody really has to have it or something, that they can undo what I do, which I don't think they should. But... Nonetheless, we've got some neat pinstriping down here. That's a nice little touch from back in the day. Kind of widens out in the back. A single fin with the box. But I think what we're going to do is do some flake panels, top and bottom. And uh, I was thinking about some bright colors for, for the edges at first but i think and uh hammer out some neon hibiscus flowers all around the, the edge of it and do some pinstriping it's kind of my thing i'm not tired of it yet and uh i've only got a few videos where i've been doing it so anyways uh this is going to be the beginning of the next uh, i guess metal flake project and i'm going to go ahead and get this started all right people the first uh steps of doing this surfboard project is, is to get it sanded get it roughed up we're going to take care of all of these pressure dings there get them filled up i'm actually going to use body filler on this i don't use body filler on cars that do a lot of uh metal work and then epoxy it just holds up better in the heat and doesn't shrink or crack like body filler but this project here it'll be fine you know this is going to be a wall hanger and uh i'm just going to get sanded to show you what it's uh, going to kind of look like it's just getting scuffed up i'm going to be very vigorous about sanding it and then i'm going to basically uh polyester prime the hell out of it i'll be using a house of color sp 1600 and uh, i'll show it when we get to that point when we get to the filling the up the dings and straightening it out and here's the board all sanded out <clears throat> sanded with 80 and just gonna do some little bit spot repair like this crack and that crack. Uh, get some of the stuff on the edges here. You know, up there it's <clears throat> wore through. And back here we're gonna get the transition between this fiberglass to the board straightened out. So we're gonna get mudding. All right, we got the mud slapped on. Not completely, got just this area here to do. But it pretty much just a skim coat, rough coat. I'm going to DA sand this down, then start fine tuning. Make sure it's nice and flat. I'm not going to do any real video of this portion. It's not my favorite part of the game. But I want to keep moving forward. All right, round one of uh, doing the mud is accomplished and sanded, at least on the top side. Haven't even touched the bottom yet. But we're going to fill up stuff like this up in here get that smoothed out and uh, get it as close as possible I want to minimize the amount of blocking I do to get it straight but it's gonna be a little bit of work it's uh, gonna take one or two days especially as slow as I am to get to the next phase but I'd like to get it in prime by the weekend and here's the first round of doing the mud work I'll get it all primed up I'm gonna hammer it just tons of prime and uh, then we'll see where we're at, get it blocked out, and 
do any more body work hopefully not much and we'll move on to doing the underside same process all right man it's time to lay out some prime showing the polyester primer the house color sp 1600 you got a nice tight pattern on it. I'm laying this stuff on nice and thick. I'm just going to get through the motions here. It's going to be yeah, probably four coats. Just going to want to get nice and filled in and hammered out. Good base to you know, block down. So that's where we're at. Well, up here's the board primed out and then blocked out. I only blocked out half of it. Just kind of showing the process here. These are some high spots there. A little low spot, high spot, high spot. But all in all, this is uh, fairly straight. I still got to do this other half here and uh, flip it over and do the body work. I'm going to reprime this one more time just to get a good high build on it and uh, pretty happy all right here's the surfboard it's all blocked out uh, I'm not going to do another round of body work I don't need to but it is going to get some more primer to dress up some of the high spots such as this and that but we're going to flip it over and get the body work done on the bottom side and then get that primed it's a mess I just keep looking at this fin. It just looks gigantic. I mean, the profile is huge. It's almost like it came off a windsurfer. But that's what was with the board. That's what I'm going to keep on it. But we're going to get all this stuff done. This crack is just monstrous. And we're going to get that fixed up. So uh, I'm going to start slapping on some more mud. Now take a look at this mess. It's all mudded up. This is the most amount of mud I've used on anything. And we're going to go ahead and get two-part epoxy, fill this crack right in here. I'm going to pack that in there and then get it taped up uh, so we can keep the form of it. Don't need that popping up after all the painting's done. But the next phase on the bottom is, is obviously to smooth this out, do a little sanding with 80 in the board file. And uh, then get this primed up too and then do a final prime top and bottom. And uh, this is all I'm going to show on the prep for on this project. I think this is more about the painting than it is the prepping. All right, here's the surfboard. First block is done, and then we're just going to get this primered. I'm really not even going to show that. Just wanted to kind of show how uh, the board looks after the first block. After I get the second block, it may be the final one because this thing's relatively close. And uh, that's it for now. I will. Uh, Pick up this video when I'm doing something more interesting.